Diving a little further into the plan production side of Civil 3D, this video will go over how to create a sheet set manager from scratch and how to create and edit the dynamic text that can be found in a title block. To get started, open a new drawing and type SSM into the command line to open the sheet set manager. From the drop down of the sheet set manager, select New Sheet Set. From the Create Sheet Set dialog box, select Create Sheet from an example sheet set. Click Next. Now select New Sheet Set from the list. Click Next. Name the sheet set, select where to store the sheet set, click next. Now click finish. A new blank sheet set has been created. Once you have finished setting up a sheet set for your title block, you can use the blank sheet set as a template for other drawings. Go ahead and save this drawing. Bring the layout tab into the sheet set by clicking it and dragging it into the sheet set manager. Click import checked. From here we can start to define the custom properties of the sheet set. Right click the name of the sheet set and click properties. Click Edit Custom Properties. In the Custom Properties window, click Add. Name the field that we are going to use in the sheet set. For these values, use unique names that represent what you are trying to create. At the bottom of this Add Custom Property window is a radio select for a sheet set or sheet. If sheet set is selected, the field will remain the same for the entire sheet set. If sheet is selected, the field will be customized for each individual sheet in the sheet set. For this example, I create four fields, two of which will occur throughout the sheet set, and two of which will be unique to each sheet. Once you are finished, click OK. You can now see each of the fields we created in the sheet set. Now we are going to start adding these fields to the paper space. To do so, type at def into the command line. This will bring up the attribute definition pop-up. From here, you can define how the text will appear. In the tag field, I recommend using the same text you used in the sheet set. Now click the icon next to the default box. In the field pop-up, click Current Sheet Set Custom. Under the custom property name, select the field you want to insert first. Adjust how you want the text to be displayed. Now click OK and click where you want to insert the field. Follow these same steps to add the remainder of the fields. To insert the sheet specific fields, from the field dialog box, click Current Sheet Custom and select the field from the custom property name dropdown. I'm using a polyline to evenly space each of these fields. After all of the fields are set up, you can now start giving the fields names. To name the sheet set values, right click the sheet set name, click properties and navigate to the fields. Fill in the correct information. To fill in the sheet custom fields, right click the sheet that is in the sheet set manager and click properties. Again, fill in the correct information for each of the fields. Now click OK. You will notice that the names of the fields do not change after you have done this. That is because these fields need to be in a block for them to work correctly. Select each of the fields and type block into the command line. Give the block a name and click OK. Click OK again to close the Edit Attributes dialog box. To show how the different fields work, I am going to make a copy of this sheet and bring it into the sheet set. Now I adjust the new sheets fields. As you can see, the bottom two fields of each of these sheets is now different. The fields that are set up for the sheet set remain the same throughout each of the sheets. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do to make edits to the attribute definitions. Click on the block containing the attribute definitions. Type BE into the command line to enter the block editor. From the block editor, delete one of the fields. Notice the field remains even after it is deleted. Type at sync into the command line. Click on select. Now click the block containing the attribute definitions. Click yes, and then the block is updated. Similarly, you can add a field to the block. Use the same process shown earlier in this video to create an attribute definition in paper space. Copy the field and delete it from the paper space. Now start an edit session on the block and paste the text. Align the field. Once you are finished, you will have to use the at sync command to update the block's definition. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Thank you.